Nope. Hello, dear listeners. So, just to give you a little bit of background on this video, I know the topic might seem a little random. So, I received an email not that long ago saying that the Nope Too Creepy podcast has ranked somewhat high in the fiction category in Slovakia, of all places. Now, I'm not sure why, I'm not sure how, but being in the world that we're in where everybody has a podcast and there are no shortage of scary story podcasts out there, the fact that anywhere in the country has ranked the Nope Too Creepy podcast at, at a notable level is impressive and it makes me happy. So while this YouTube channel and the podcast are somewhat different, uh, the stories, like I've told you guys before, uh, usually premiere here first and then make their way over to the podcast. And this will be no exception. So without any further ado, as a thank you to Slovakia, here are 10 Haunted Places in Slovakia. Also, before we begin, just a quick disclaimer and warning. I will likely mispronounce several of these names, so just bear with me and feel free to roast me in the comments per usual. Number 1. Vodnik from the Duck Fountain Vodnik is a water creature from Slavic legends and fairy tales. He often lures people close to the place where he lives and then drowns them. One such monster, whose name is Zeliniak, resides in the Duck Fountain, close to the Shafadikavo Square. The fountain depicts three playing boys and ducks around them. The legend says that these boys used to take their ducks close to the Danube and leave them there to graze. Zeliniak befriended the boys and took them to the bottom of the river. One of the boys overheard the magic formula to open the underwater cave full of gold. He wanted to share the secret with the other two friends, but as soon as he opened his mouth, they all turned to stone. Number 2 The Mysterious Handprints at St. Martin's Cathedral one of the most popular haunted places in Bratislava is certainly St. Martin's Cathedral. Those who enter might come across something really strange, handprints burned into the wood. Their story dates back to 1641. Regina Fisher, a young girl from Hallstatt, was visiting Bratislava. During her stay, a ghost appeared to her about 100 times. He introduced himself as John Clement Zwanbesbar. He asked Regina to fix the crime that he had committed while he was alive. The proof of the ghost's presence was the handprints burned into various wooden objects. Nobody had any doubts about Regina's words. Even the Archbishop of Estergam was investigating the case. Number 3 Kert's Drowning Ships on the Danube It wouldn't be correct to say that Kert is a Slavic equivalent of the word demon. In the Slavic mythology, Kert is not necessarily an evil creature. He is often depicted as a hairy man with hooves, a tail, and horns. He can be both mischievous and smart, many times trying to punish evil people. The legend says that one Kurt used to live on the hill where St. Nicholas Church stands now. It was after the church was built that this Kurt started drowning ships sailing on the Danube. One day, the captain of one of the ships fooled him and gave him a ride. Since then, the Kurt has only been appearing on St. Nicholas's Day to scare small children. Number 4 Perjurers beware. Even the town hall had its share of scary stories. One of them tells the tale of a widow with children who lost a piece of her field to a rich man. 
This rich man lied to the widow, claiming that her husband was only able to use the field while he was alive. After his death, it had to go back to the rich man. The widow asked him to swear on the Bible, and the perjurer did not hesitate. That very moment, a demon flew inside and took the rich man away. The only trace that remains after the perjurer was taken away is a picture of him that hangs on the outer wall of the town hall. Number 5. The First Witch of Bratislava Not even Bratislava could have escaped the frenzy of the Inquisition. About 400 innocent women were burned at the stake. The first one to die was named, all right, bear with me here, Agata Tothova Barabasova, and I'm sure I pronounced that wrong, but regardless, she was killed in 1602. Between the Zhupne and the Horbanovo squares, there used to be an epitaph of her death. Unfortunately, it was stolen some time ago, so you can only find images of it on the internet. Moreover, it is said that her ghost can sometimes be seen crying at the same place it was stolen. Number 6. The Executioner's House If you're a fan of history and ever wondered how law, justice, and order worked in the medieval city of Trenchin, visit the Executioner's House. It's not difficult to guess from the name that the Executioner's House was once a home of the city executioner, whose services Trinchin used until 1790. In those days, there was a prison on the ground floor, and a place where people were savagely tortured. It is said that the executioner's house is haunted, something that the local tour guides will vigorously deny. Number 7. Likava Castle Likava Castle dates back to the 12th century, and it was built for creating a protective wall for the city. Eventually, it became a prison for troopers, a really cruel prison at that. It is said that many of the prisoners are still there, walking through the corridors, as they were killed on the spot, and their spirit is still haunting the place. Number 8 Liptov Castle Not far away from Likava lies another castle with a terrifying secret. Old Liptov Castle. Its ruins are almost entirely covered by vegetation and being situated in the height of 999 meters above sea level, it looks like a perfect campsite for a romantic hiking getaway. If you decide to visit, you might find yourself with a rather unpleasant visitor at night. Locals swear there is a horrendous swine wandering around there with a golden key stuck in its mouth. Believe it or not, this beast used to be the gorgeous daughter of the castle's master. Her father cursed her because she betrayed him. According to legend, she did this by giving a key to the castle to her father's worst enemy who she foolishly fell in love with. Legend says you might release her from her eternal punishment, but only if you dare to take the key out of her mouth. Number 9. Kaktise Castle Kaktise Castle is located in a remote area in Slovakia, and there are many scary stories related to it. It stands upon the steep side of a mountain, and it looks quite immense. It has been slowly destroyed throughout the centuries, but there are still sites that are saved. The castle had a notorious owner, Elizabeth Bathory, who is known as the Bloody Countess. Elizabeth was known as the most frightening serial killer in her time, and that's the reason why the castle is haunted. Apparently, the owner used to torture people before she killed them, they say many voices can be heard throughout the site. And number 10. The Black Lady of St. Michael's Tower 
No tourist who visits Slovakia ever misses it, and you can find it on most postcards in Bratislava. St. Michael's Tower If you happen to be in this area at night, you might spot the Black Lady that has been living in the tower for centuries. Her story reveals why she is not able to find her peace. The Christian name of the Black Lady was Ursula. Ursula and her friend Agatha fell in love with the same man. Unfortunately for Ursula, the guy chose Agatha. The jealous girl accused her friend of being a witch. You can imagine what happened to Agatha in the dark times of the Inquisition. In case you're wondering, this is in fact the same Agatha from number 5. Yeah, they killed her for being a witch. The poor innocent girl was burned at the stake. After her death, Ursula realized what she had done. Since then, she has been appearing in the tower, tortured by her own guilt. If you ever decide to visit St. Michael's Tower, just be careful. You might not be able to notice her in the dark until it's too late. Thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If you did, you know what to do. Take that like button and accuse it of witchcraft, and then burn it at the stake. Yeah. Uh, I want to give another shout out to the country of Slovakia, if you're listening here on YouTube. But again, the stat was for the podcast. So, uh, yeah. I know a lot of people who listen here don't listen to the podcast because there's really no reason to if you're listening here on a regular basis. You're not going to find anything new there. But if you can see it, if you can find it in your hearts rather to head over to Spotify, who now has a rating system or Apple or wherever else, and just give it a, you know, give it a good rating. That might really help me in the long run. So I'd very much appreciate it. So yeah. Also, I'm really sorry if I pronounced anything wrong. I was popping everything into Google Translate and trying my best to pronounce it correctly, but I think this one may have gotten the better of me a time or two, so yeah. Until next time, everybody, remember to stay safe out there. I'll be seeing you in the next video.